So now you can see we have completely modified our geometry according to our need. Hey guys, welcome back to SolidWorks and NCS Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this SolidWorks tutorial, we are going to learn about the mesh modeling technique and our focus will be on how to edit STL file. So we are going to use SolidWorks 2022 here for the editing of STL file. I have downloaded this quick side roller component wheel mount. So from here you can download this flex side wheel mount or STL file which we are going to edit in SOLIDWORKS 2022. So first of all I am going to open the STL file and will show you in which formats you can open the STL file. So after clicking the STL file you will go to the options here and you will find the dif different options like graphics body surface body and solid body. So graphics body imports data as meshes that you can convert into mesh B-Rep bodies. No feature are recognized. In graphics body there is no feature or edges or you cannot edit the graphics body. It is just for the visualization. The surface body, uh, surface body is just like the surface or surfacing in the solid works. It does not filled from the inside and we have to knit the surface and convert it into the solid after importing it into the surface body. So the solid body attempts to import data as solid body dashboard feature recognition. If some data does not knit into the usable solid, the translator import that data as surface bodies. So in solid body, it is uh, already imported into the solid like you don't have to convert it into mesh data or you don't have to convert it into the solid it already is in the solid and is filled from inside so we are going to uh, import it into the graphic body so that i can tell you that how you can convert it into the mesh body and how you can edit it okay so here uh, we got the part from here this is the mesh modeling tab if you don't find the mesh modeling tab just go into tabs and from here just enable it like this so this is our first feature uh, which convert the body into meshes like if i will select on it i can't select any face or edge of it so first of all i have to convert this graphics body into the mesh body to edit it so when you will select the graphics body you can find this option group facets into faces let's see if we will disable this what is going to happen so our body is converted into the mesh but still we can't select any faces or edges so for that what we will do is we will again go to convert to mesh body select this and enable group facets into faces select ok so now you can see i can select the edges here i can select the faces and like this so now we will use segment imported mesh body and i will show you what is this so now you can see when i select this face the whole body face is selected i just want this face to be edited or i just want to fillet it so let's see if i am going to fillet this edge so i will just select this again gave it 1 mm but it is not working so now i will use segment imported mesh body so now we have three option here crease angle planar segments and cylindrical segments so this our body is mostly the made of planar segments so i will select this so this is the tolerance which define the faces for segmenting so i am giving it four okay. so now you can see we have got these edges which we can edit later on 
so select ok from here select ok so now you can see we have got this complete edge we have got these edges here which we can fill it now we will go to the fillet option here I will simply give it the 1 mm and will select this face so now you can see how easily it has pick up the fillet from here so like this we have make the fillets of for our body select ok so now uh, this was for the fillet and I have told you about the segment so what if we want to do some type of modification to the geometry like uh, cuts or adding some features like if we don't want these three holes I will select this face go to sketch and now I am simply going to make the reference line to make the midpoint because you cannot trace the midpoint with these meshes so I will select this slot tool I will select this and simply select the extrude boss base command so now you will simply go to the blind and extrude it downward like this you can see we have just one solid body here and our holes are also filled like this so if you want to add some feature to it you can simply add it here like this if you want to should cut something like this so you can see mesh is automatically converted according to the cutting we have made you can now simply fillet these command and select ok so now you can see we have completely modify our geometry according to our need so in this tutorial we have learned about the convert to mesh body how we can edit the mesh body and how we can make the segments or edges on the mesh body so this can only be uh, this is the hybrid modeling new feature in the SOLIDWORKS 2022 you can also try this on SOLIDWORKS 2021 with the same method and technique so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos